AOP is counting on probability 4.22. There are five different pairs of gloves where left and right are distinguishable. Select four from the 10 gloves. A, how many ways are there to select two pairs of gloves? B, how many ways are there to select four such that some of two, some two of the four make a pair? So A, there are five pairs and we have to choose two pairs of gloves consi without considering the order. So we use combination. So five choose two is equal to 10. So there are 10 ways. And B, how many ways are there to select four such that some two of the four make a pair? So it's easier to count the ways that they don't make a pair. So we do five choose four choices for the for four pairs of gloves. And we have one glove from each pair so that they don't make a pair. And there's two choices for right or left in each pair. So five times two to the power of four, since there are four gloves with two choices each, is equal to 80 choices. And in total, without the restriction, um, there's 10 choose four, because 10 gloves and you choose four, which is equal to 210 ways to choose four gloves. So since we have to find the ways that the sum two of the four make a pair, we subtract 80 from 2,210. So there are 130 ways to choose four gloves that get at least one pair. AOP is counting on probability 4.24. Use combinations to find the number of distinct arrangements of the letters of this. So th this is a nine letter word with four N's and five O's. So first we can find out where the N's will be. So, and then we can put the O's in the rest of the places in the remaining spots. So there are four positions for N out of nine because there's four N's and there's nine total letters. So since the N's and O's aren't distinguishable, it's you use combinations. So we do nine choose four, which is equal to 126 arrangements. AOP is counting on probability 4.25. Let A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H be a cube. A, how many different line segments can be formed by connecting the vertices of the cube? B, how many different triangles can be formed by connecting three of the vertices of the cube? And C, how many non-congruent triangles can be formed by connecting three of the vertices of the cube? So there, in A, there are eight vertices and we have to choose two to form a line segment. And since the order doesn't matter, because the endpoints, it doesn't matter the order, we use combinations, so do eight choose four, which is equal to 28 different line segments. And B, the number of triangles. So no three vertices are collinear, meaning no three vertices line, lie on the same line. So we can just choose three vertices out of the eight vertices a cube has. So eight choose three is equal to 56 different triangles and see how many non-congruent triangles can be formed by connecting three of the vertices. So if this is the first one. We connect this point, this point, and this point in this diagram. And the difference, the three side lengths are square root, square root two, square root two, and square root two. And the second one is you connect these two, and these two, and these. So the side lengths are one, uh, root 2 and root 3. And then the last one is just connecting three points on one face. So the side lengths are 1, 1, and root 2. So in total, there's these are the only ways you can connect three points to get non-congruent triangles. So there are three.